Welcome back guys and today we are not out fishing yet. We are going to be towards the middle to end of this episode but I've had this. I've wanted to do a review on it. It's a reel I've done a lot of fishing with um, and I wanted to try this one too. Um, I love Shimano reels. They are amazing. So I ordered this. So we are going to do a review on this today and not, well a little bit of an unboxing and review about this reel and go fishing with it, show you guys it in action, and then, yeah, we're going to hopefully catch some fish on it. Um, got it on one of my newer rods, one that I still haven't caught any fish on yet. So, yeah, we're going to go over it, show the reel, show the specs on it a little bit, um, show, we'll go through with how I like it and everything, how it feels and everything while I'm out fishing, and go from there. So, with that being said, this is the Shimano SLX DC 150HG. Now, this is my this was my first DC reel I've ever owned. Um, I've always wanted one because they sound I've heard they sound sweet when you um, cast them and that they're really smooth and that the DCs are just awesome in general. So that's why I got this reel. Um, so this is my second time opening it. So when we open this up, it comes with the reel inside all the bubble wrap of course um, so there is the reel it looks very very similar to the regular SLX the only difference I'm noticing is right here there's a chrome or some type of uh, um, polished or chrome um, bezelman or piece right here around the reel and the tension adjuster is a little bit different um, and I don't think the regular SLX has the outside brake adjustment here either. Um, so that's really the difference that I see when just looking at the reel. Of course, you can hear the chip when you spin the reel fast. Um, and just feeling it, it is a lot smoother than the regular SLX. Um, here, after I get done unboxing and reviewing, like doing an initial impressions and everything on this reel, I'll grab my regular SLX once I get this um, spooled up and on a, a rod, and I'll kind of go over a look at both the regular SLX and this SLX DC. Um, this is a 7 to, or 7.2 to 1 gear ratio, the exact same as my regular SLX, and I believe it said it was a 4 plus 1 bearing. Yep, it's 4 plus 1 bearing, 7, 2 to 1 gear ratio. Um, other than that, there's not too much on here that really matters much to me. Um, yeah, there's the line specs and stuff like that, but um, in general, I mean, I don't really look at the line specs that much because I just already know what line I'm going to put on this and I don't really care about that. Um, I order reels accordingly based off of if I need a deep spool or shallow spool for it. So yeah, there is the reel. I'm going to throw it right there on top of the um, bubble wrap. And then it also comes with um, oil, this brand name, Bantam Oil or Bantam Oil. So comes with a little bit of oil in there which is nice. And then the um, last thing that comes in the package is the complete parts sheet. So yeah. Oh, there's an owner's manual too, or instruction guide, and then a complete part sheet for this reel. So, I'm excited for this reel since it is my first DC reel. Um, I can't wait to use it. So, I'm filming this the night before we're going fishing. So, I'm going to get this all spooled up, um, and then after I get it spooled up, then we're going to, well, of course it's night, so tomorrow we're going to go out fishing, and yeah, hopefully we're going to catch the fish on it. I'll show a comparison between this and the regular um, SLX, and then we'll show impressions and how it fishes. So stay tuned, guys, and we're going to get this spooled up and get to fishing. All right, guys, so we are throwing the Corrado DC, all, well, the SLX DC, on my chatterbait rod which is, like I mentioned, is also newer. Um, it is a Dobbins Champion XP 736 CV glass. So as you see, the reel matches perfectly. And that's one thing that I always make sure I do with my reels, rods and reels, is I always like them to match. So it definitely matches perfect on this rod. And yeah. Um, 
So the line that we are going to be using for this, which actually I need to run inside to grab tape real quick, is uh, Cigar Red Label. Um, I just had a little bit left over. It's 15 pound. Um, and I figure this will probably be enough left. If this is enough, then I'm, I've got a Suffolk Siege down in my boat for 14 pound that I'll just throw in instead. I know I have enough of that, but I wanted to get rid of lead, Red Label, and I would prefer to have fluorocarbon on this instead of monofilament. Um, just so if I'm fishing deeper with crank or with uh, chatter baits, or if I'm cranking, because I'm also going to be throwing deep, deep diving crank baits on here, like 18, 20, 22, 24 foot diving crank baits. So if I'm fishing with that, I would rather have fluorocarbon. So this is the line I'm going to be throwing on. I've got other rods right here that I'm going to be setting up too. So yeah, I'm going to skip all this part because it's just boring stuff of putting new line on a reel. And I mean, most people know how to do that. If not, let me know. And I mean, I'll make a video on it for you if you really want me to. So, yep, I'm going to get this all set up, and we will see you guys in the morning when we are heading out to the pond. All right, so like I said, here are both the reels. On my right hand, with the lipless on it, is the regular Shimano Crop, or the Shimano SLX. And then right here with the Chatterbait is the SLX DC. As you guys can see, I think you guys can probably see there, um, on the side, the only difference is the um, braking system. On the side, you have the actual dial on the DC. At the top, there really isn't much of a difference. On this side, the only difference is the tension knob and then the chrome um, bezelment or whatever it is around the reel on this. And then there's a black one around this side. Other than that, they look almost identical to each other. Tomorrow, we are going to head out to a pond and haven't caught a fish on this reel yet or this rod. So we are gonna go to the pond, use this setup um, for the most part and try to get a bunch of fish on it. Um, get a good honest opinion and review about this reel and go from there. So we'll see you guys tomorrow when we get on the water Well, we just got here and this water is extremely clear This reel is smooth Like really smooth Got one it doesn't feel like a bad one. No, it's smaller I think yep First cast. Look at that little guy. He swam really hard. That guy is tiny. But he hit that hard. I'm surprised. First fish on this rod and on this reel. I love the way this reel sounds. <laughs> Dang it. They're just nipping at it. They're just small ones. There we go. It's a little better than the first one. Barely. Oh! Not really. No. That thing's still tiny. I didn't think that this small of a bass would hit a chatterbait like that. Okay, there has to be a decent one swimming around here somewhere. Yep, another small one. Dude, these guys, I forgot how hard these guys fight for how small they are. <laughs> these are fun to catch just because of how small or how uh, hard they fight. There we go, <laughs> another dink. It's a lot different than the ones I've been catching it. I am extremely happy with how this thing's casting. Did they catch six pounder? You tell them that? What? That one? Yep. That's a little bit better than the last one, I think. He's just water skiing across the top. <laughs> Maybe not any better than the other ones. Why are there so many freaking small bass here? All right, guys. So initial impressions and everything and like review about this reel it casts extremely far i'm casting a lot farther than any of them of any of my other reels that i have the rod i love it so far it's got great sensitivity um you can feel every little tick of the chatterbait on it um this is a strike king um thunder cricket that i've got on here and yeah i love this combo so far i highly recommend this reel so far we're going to keep on doing videos on it to go over uh, how I like it as I use it more. It's gonna be used a ton. I can tell you guys that right now. So 
With that being said, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this little review slash uh, initial impressions unboxing video of the Shimano SLX DC. And we will see you guys in the next video.